Hi, I'm Russ with ESBService.com and today I'm going to talk to you about the basic power flow going through your ESB tanning bed. Now for this demonstration we've already got the cover removed from the tanning bed here and I have the timer mounted on just a little section of the cover so we can see all the electronics here. And um, this is a 16 lamp 120 volt model. Um, not that that matters very much when we're doing this video. I'm just talking again about just the basic power flow. So um, the power comes into your bed. It starts here, of course, at your power cord. You plug this into your receptacle and the power comes flowing through your main power cord here. And after it goes to this metal strain relief bracket here, it comes up and it goes into the primary of your contactor. That's the first place that your power cord terminates at. You have, um, there's a hot and a neutral or black and white respectively connecting right here to the primary terminals of your contactor and there is a green ground that goes to the chassis of the bed. So this is right where the power comes in again. Now from here there's power that branches going to the main timer system. Here is a hot and a neutral coming right off of the same spot that the hot and the neutral are coming from the main power cord coming in and these are branching over here to provide the hot and neutral, basically the power, to the main timer. Okay, so if you have a mechanical timer you won't have this hot and neutral running there, you would only have the, these two hots. But basically, you have constant hot from the primary side of your contactor coming up to provide power to your timer. Okay, so once your timer is engaged by starting it and the display is on and it's counting down, what happens is your relay on your timer closes. When this relay closes, one of these wires comes back to the primary of the contactor and is constantly hot. And this other wire here, what, now that that closes, it's going to send that constant hot over here to your backup timer. So what we have so far is the power coming into the primary of the contactor, branching off to provide power to the main timer. When the main timer is engaged, then the relay closes and sends power over here to your backup timer. When it comes into your backup timer, it simply exits and goes over to the coil of your contactor, thus turning your bed on. When the contactor closes, it actually closes this contact right here and allows the hots to flow through the tanning bed. And when it does, when it flows through, here on the secondary side of your contactor, it is energized. And uh, that means that the ballasts and your fans get power. These are all the hots for your ballasts and your fans, and these are all the neutrals for your ballasts and your fans. And as well, this is your power cord that ends up going down to your bench. So this is just a hot, a ground, and a neutral that goes down to your bench to provide power to everything in your bench. So again, these fan wires here are hot and neutrals going to, going to your fans, and these branch off of the secondary of your contactor right where the ballast wires are going to provide power to the ballasts. And of course when the ballasts get power, then they send power out on these wires going to your lamp holder sockets to energize your lamps. And that is the whole basic power flow of your ESB tanning bed.